And just a quick update to say go check out Relic Hunter Zero on Steam. It is amazing. Now, this is one of those Bulletstorm, you know, twin stick shooter style games like Nuclear Throne and so many others I'm playing at the moment, Void Runners, even Binding of Isaac. It's the same sort of principle. What it is is a you know, sci-fi approach, guns killing random turtles and bird enemies that also have their own sort of weaponry to take care of and you go through a bunch of pre-designed levels going up with enemies scaling in numbers, scaling in damage, scaling in health and all the time developing your own strategy as well. It's insanely fun, chaotic at times but also very strategic. You've got certain weapons that you can pick up from the ground that'll drop from enemies and as you go those will get more and more powerful. There's different types of weapons that each have their own you know, pros and cons depending at the distance you're firing. But they also use the different types of ammunition as well so you find yourself having to switch between your weapons just so you don't run out of ammo in your time of need. <laughs> it's I guess the biggest positive for it right now is the game is free. It is quite in-depth, there's a few characters there, two to start off with and you can unlock I think four more. There's quite a few levels there, a good amount of challenge and design to these levels and also a whole heap of achievement orientated stuff like finding these relics to give you certain buffs so you can go further and further through the game and just ways of unlocking the characters too that you'll need to do. Right now I think the biggest positive and I guess my the biggest potential in this game is that it's an open source mod. You can download the code and tinker with it to your heart's content and they're even promoting that because they want to create you know, a Steam community, a Steam wealth of a workshop there so you can go in there, add new characters, add new levels, add new guns and enrich your experience more. So I even see it being able to compete against, you know, such brilliant bullet hell style games like Nuclear Throne and maybe even Binding of Isaac. Just because of the creativity and the wealth of mods that I will guess will come later in this game. Right now it's still in development but it is a very polished experience. They're opening up the workshop soon. The source mods out there so I'm guessing it'll only be a little amount of time before more and more stuff comes onto the, the Steam Workshop. They're polishing the multiplayer, so they've got new modes coming as well, all for free. And the crazy part, the absolute, I can't understand crazy part, it is actually free. There is no cash shop bullshit there. There's no monetization. They might have, I guess, a DLC down the line. We're not even talking about that now. They're just giving out a free, awesome game. So go check it out. I love it. <laughs>